Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Squad Ops. This is Operation Whirlwind. I am Tedish commentating for you today on this lovely Saturday. Uh, we are almost ready to go here. Uh, let's listen in on the remainder of this briefing here real quick for the U.S. and then we'll fill on, on the op the north side of the map on in a minute. To come in behind the insurgents as we start engaging from our FOB and pushing the hill from the southeast. That's when Hamley Quad will begin assaulting from the north, hopefully hitting the flank. Pretty easy. Um, your SLs know what to do, so go ahead, SLs, break them out. Okay. All right, so we didn't get to hear too much about what's going on, but we'll figure it out as they, uh, as they roll here. Let's go over what the op is. This is Operation Whirlwind. It's a, a classic one. Good attack and defend. Uh, we're bringing up the uh, the overlay here for you. So we got the uh, what everybody gets per squad. The U.S. you know two AR, one lat, one GL, one medic, and they also get one Humvee and a Logi truck and a transport. And they can put down one FOB with two machine guns. The insurgents get two AR, one lat, one scout, one medic. Artillery, Logi, SPGs, Dishka. And the objectives here is basically the US are attacking the radio tower. Right? So it's attack and defend. Uh, the militia get to dig in and they get to keep running Logi as much as they can, which is pretty quick. So generally, by the time the US get there, they've got a massive sandbag fortress going on with machine guns and Dishkas and all kinds of stuff. There is plenty of terrain for the US to maneuver, um, but it tends to be some tense tense maneuvering and uh and then finally some good flanking hopefully the u.s can sneak something, something through but uh yeah it, it tends to be a good good op leads to uh lots of uh classic maneuvering on this one bounding by fire teams when we get there, bounding by squads to, uh, good flanks fire. yeah and then intense action once it gets into the yeah. final uh the final battle squad up at the hill usually there's the only restrictions are vehicles have to cross the bridges, infantry can cross the rivers um, on foot. Um, so there's a couple bottlenecks, but uh, the final fight happens at this hill here, generally. This is what the uh, insurgents are holding on to. So they throw down their fob up here, and the U.S. get to dig it out. They have great sight lines for pretty much the whole valley up here, you can see. And you get some binoculars out, and uh, you can see people coming from pretty far. 20 seconds live. Oh, and we're live in 20 seconds here, so let's get back over to the U.S. and uh, see where they're going. So we, we do have a battlefield correspondent here that we've embedded in the uh, insurgent side here. Well, uh, let's see if, see if we can get uh, Muff. Muff, you there? Maybe? Uh, yes, 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 I yeah, am. Yeah, there, I'm here there he is. How uh, how are things looking for the uh, insurgents over there? Well, you know, I'm taking a little squad here. I'm following, kind of a strike force with my with my battlefield notepad out, and things are looking a little risky for us. We're going to be scouting, roaming around. Hopefully, not getting into the thick of it. I'm not sure what our plan is as far as we get out. All I know is we're roaming. So, so what's so culturally important about this radio tower up there? Why you guys? Uh, why why do the militia really want to defend that? I mean, are they pumping out some sweet tunes? Like what's going on up there? Oh yeah, it is playing the finest classic rock from the north, south, west, and eastern United States, as well as the EU. In fact, all across the world. That's popular in this region now, and that's good to know. You know of they course, they like their poppies and it's... they like the uh, classic American rock. Yes, it's hear. not just it's not limited to, to just the people of the US or the EU where it comes from. Everyone loves it everywhere. That's why it's called classic, right? Yep. Alrighty. Well thanks for thanks for chiming yeah, in. We'll see come if we can back check you. As long as you haven't taken one in the nose, you know. Yes, things uh, are going calmly right now and we expect it to go this way. That's we want it to be a peaceful resolve to this battle. <laughs> We'll see if that happens, uh, but we'll get back to you later. Uh, have fun on your patrol. Thank you very much. All right, that was our battlefield correspondent, Muff. 
the Muff Bandit. And here we are watching our uh, U.S. move out here on foot. We've got one squad heading direct east. And then looks like we've got the mechanized, not really mechanized, motorized uh, squads down to the south. Making what I like to call the nine-year flank. As they're in those transports, rolling through those hills. Hopefully they don't get anybody stuck. So, looks like, the, yeah, most of their forces are down there. We're going to have a distractionary force up in the north, maybe. But uh, we'll see what they can pull out here. I'll fly up to the radio tower, see where the militia are staging up here. Looks like they got two, maybe three squads scouting out. One to the west in Ali Abad, one to the southwest. It looks like they're probably going to encounter that uh, force first. There they are, crossing the river now. Looks like a fire team down there. The rest of their squad behind them. While the command... Oh, that might be our cor correspondent down here. Yeah, there he is, crossing the river. We'll see how he does things later on. If you don't know Muff, he's uh, well known for his distance accuracy. Especially if there's a Jack Reynolds on the other team right. running around with his, with his notepad out. Let's see what the uh, command is cooking up here as far as sandbags. Usually there is, yeah, look at these workers. Backbreaking labor up here. Tons of barbed wire out already. Got these squad leaders here in the in the white hats. You can tell they're squad leads because they have the binoculars out. Squad leaders are the only guys that get them, unless they're scouts. I guess they do get scouts as well, but uh, it'd be shadow ritual. The who is easy command? Yeah, let's go over the command and uh, squad leaders for this for this round. Got to give shout outs to the people. Right, so for the militia, it is Shadowed Ritual in command. And then squad leads, you've got Pure Paradise, Truth Realm, Hammer Hebrew, and Best Pony. And then for the US, command is Creeping. And then we've got OD Tap, Silent Death, Exbit, and Hamlet. So all experienced squad leads. I see plenty of ops tags in uh, spread throughout the squad. So Edge of the map, edge of the map. We just got to stay on this side we of gotta the map. Plenty of experience in this. I'm sure there's new people too. All right. Wow, those guys are going way around in the convoy. I don't think they can go any further than that, honestly. I think I just heard creeping call out edge of the map. More sandbags going on. Let's see if they have any emplacements up yet. Or are they waiting to put those down until they have a rough idea of where the guys are coming from. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Usually the U.S. will get in good distance and set up those machine guns to cover their approach. That might be what the fire team in the northwest is up there, that squad in the northwest, squad yeah, one. The Although they don't have a lodgy with them, so never mind. That can't be them. They'll be putting the... Uh, Firebase, to my guess, probably somewhere on this the, the ridge line across the river that overlooks the base. Somewhere, what is that? Hotel 10, Golf 10. And then you can fire down onto the base, try to get fire superiority at range while your squads move underneath them. And then maybe squad one will move in the back after the primary forces engage in the south. So we'll see. But it looks like squad four for the militia, it will probably sniff out the US team here shorter we'll see we'll see what they do looks like we got uh muff is trying to do a little interview battlefield correspondent interview with one of his uh squad mates here let's uh we did a let's bring him back up here 
Muff, can you hear me there? How's it? Uh, how's it hanging the... in this? Uh, it looks like you might be in some kind of a cornfield here. Is that you? North, so it is. Field. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm down here with Alien King 33, and it's not getting any easier for him as we're both laid down in this cornfield waiting for some action to happen. We can't see much, anything anywhere. What are your thoughts on this situation, Alien King? I think it's best to keep your battle space and you don't want to get hit. <laughs> Copy that. I'm going to fall back. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go. Yeah, make sure you watch your spacing there. That's something I've we always just received. Preach. I've just never known a thought from Alien King in. 33, and he's told me to keep my battle spacing. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to fall back now and try and keep my own little spot in the corner, okay? All right, we'll check back in with you later, Muff. Thanks for the uh, the update from from your cornfield. Thanks very much. <laughs> this might be the best idea we've ever had. <laughs> oh, what Muff doesn't know is the entire team is crashing down on top of him. Not quite, but maybe soon. Oh, I heard a shot. That would be a negligent discharge. Don't know where that came from. Someone's getting chewed out. It looks like, yeah, the Squad 4 just scouting out in the southwest. Yeah, it's pretty common for the U.S. to run down the river at this point with either the vehicles or the people. Um, but, yeah, they're doing the full flank around. Looks like they're over here pretty much undetected. I don't see any little triangles really focused on the south side here. And that squad one is still isn't really in range anywhere to get uh, contact. Let's see. Let's uh, let's get a good bird's eye view up here. That predator view. I should be able to see the U.S. on here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're going all the way around. If we lose one to the river, it's gone. We're going to wait right here. Once everybody's up and ready to move. Uh, let's see. Let me... All right, hold here. Hold here. Okay. Oh my God, I Humvee, you are now taking right point. Now I'm just waiting for your job. Experts driving that uh, transport in. It's harder than it looks. Surprisingly easy to flip those things. And then everyone's mad because they have to walk. Okay, lead the way. I just want to start spreading now. I don't I don't know if we went over this uh before when we joined, but this is uh squad ops. Check us out at squadops.gg, join us on Discord. This is a one life event on uh, the game of squad, scenario driven, one life event. Right, go down once, down. you're done. Uh, medics can heal you, but they cannot revive you. And, uh, yeah. Really intense adrenaline inducing. No, we're not crossing the river. We have to use a bridge. No, all you've got, one life. Surgeons are still hunting, hunting around to their. Basically, they have all the sides covered except for the U.S. Sorry, they have successful. It looks like they have successfully made a full flank around here. All right, way out of. Pretty sure they're totally undefiled at this point. Yeah. The bridge is a small wooden bridge. We're not gonna get across it. Yep, there's one right in front of it. Don't worry. I know. So they can't be seen down here. Muff squad might see them if they got anyone looking that way. Uh, negative, negative. Even for mines? Even for mines. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, no, Muff squad won't, won't hear him or see him. They're all looking the other way. Wow. They are making a full... Full flank. Yeah, Jahir Marquez on the YouTube okay, asked, yes, I thought medics could revive. Not in our ops. Normal squad, they can. And a long time ago, we used to play where they could revive. Um, but then we changed it. 
because it placed too much importance on the medic. He killed the medic, he won. Um, so yeah, we just took it out. They're still important, because okay. you only got one or two bandages. Infantry out, secure this area. Infantry out, secure this area. Here Infantry we go, out. U.S. disembarking here, securing this compound. They have made an excellent flank here. The only thing that might spot them is their logi once they move around the corner. They do have a mine to their north. Let's get eyes on that. That could be a rude surprise here. Is this it? Yep, there it is. Driving along. Okay, three, that hill you're securing is the fob location. Well, they might do that. Some fob down on the back side. We'll resupply it. And then, uh, once but it doesn't look like they're going to move the vehicles any closer than that, wisely. And begin an assault. Yeah, we're taking a sec, sorry. Take your time, take your time. Moving on foot, securing that gully. Command 2. Command 2 wants to clear up this ravine to the north. 2, go ahead. Just make we sure still got that uh, Fire Team 1 holding at Shikar Kot. Who's dropping the radio? Yeah, they're probably going to be the hammer, uh, hammer, three, hammer, two, while four, the rest four, of the team is the anvil here. Hill. I want you to secure that hill. Try and stay as hidden from the tower. We as might see the same thing from Muff Squad there. It looks like maybe we just can't see them because we're not quite close enough. Muff Squad is moving further north. This is very interesting. As I said, a lot of maneuvering, a lot of positioning on this map before action. Normally, we've had a little bit of engagement at this point. Like you'll, people will see extreme distances and take a couple pot shots. But uh, I don't think anyone's seen anyone at this point. Negative, negative. Let, let it another run or two. See if Expeth's moving up this ravine here. Eventually, probably will make it. I'd rather have them not know so that we're here. What do you want to set Squally stick with you for right now? Yeah, yeah, you can sit on me. Yep. And left, north, up, north to northwest. When I stop, you guys stop. I don't need to be calling this out. I heard of it. Northwest. Audible on a view. Good job northwest. clearing that. Looks like uh, the rest of the team cleared that whole village behind them. Of course, there's no one there. They might run into this lodgy here. And I'm up here with uh, squad one checking them out. They're staying pretty hidden. I don't see anybody poking over hills. Not even the squad lead. So they're 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 going for stealth. The way we're gonna run this, hey, you're gonna start moving direct towards the radio tower. They are just simple valve placement. To continue moving in towards uh, enemy. Looks like they're, and they're putting a fob down here. Main. Silent plops that thing down. So we'll see where they put their machine guns. Probably on the top of this hill. For three. Fire in at the back of it. Uh, three, hold here. Stay hidden. Okay. And when when we call the assault, you're gonna be heading direct towards the radio tower. Two, you guys are gonna be heading more north side. You guys will be coming in from the north side of enemy main. Raj? Let's see, so if you're not familiar with it, where where did they place it? Yeah. Oh, it's back here. There's Bob, also known as a you guys are gonna be manning forward operating base. For it? it should be right here. I just flew over it. It's gonna be heavy with the machine guns, including your... Uh, there, it's right underneath me. <laughs> The forward operating base here, uh, this is radio that they, the squad leaders can put down once they have um, people around them. It allows you to build defenses, um, allows you to respawn in the normal game, not in this game. For us, it's just resources and uh, a way to build emplacements and sandbags. Like India 7 in those fields, getting ready to move up on the tower. Yeah, it looks like so. They're going to pop up some heavy machine guns here. Be able to fire in on the back of that. Yes, I have. See what that looks like I've, these angles. So yeah, we got good views on the back of this thing. Raj, we're probably gonna. And we got a rocket techie here. It doesn't look like the U the uh, insurgents are using it. Roger. Yeah, what about the arty techie here? A, Nice and fast, but of course no armor. Easy to get sniped out of. Long distance shooting, in my mind, it probably needs to be buffed because it's incredibly inaccurate as it should be. But uh, the splash damage on it is 
not super strong. So, can be effective in massive quantities. It's more of a weapon of terror than uh, actual damage. Got this uh, Lodgy truck, that yellow truck here, just running back and forth, fishtailing all over the place. I don't think he realizes how close he is to death. There's a squad right up on him. I'm checking out. Whenever that they lodge is it. near, we're holding. Now, this is interesting because they are really close to the, uh, the main here, so there might be some interactions with the ballistic barrier that's just inherent in, in the lair, but we'll see. None of these vehicles down here are in play. They can't use any of them. This ditch. Yeah, all the way up into India 7. We're going to attack it from the uh, west one. side. It looks Moving up that... Uh, Alpha, do not go drainage. above this ledge. Oh, we can't go through here. Let's look at the final defenses. Well, yeah. final defenses. The defenses that have been made so far. Right, look at these sandbags. The valley in H5, uh, shortly. Once that is you guys should be good to start quite the bunker. Raj, I would like you to have a slight it is good to know that assault. these sandbags can yeah, be blown up. First. You hit them with lats, yep. grenades, they will explode in dramatic when fashion. About two minutes out from actually uh, and hour, they can also be penetrated by 50 moving. cals. Not to their full damage, but it's enough to, you know, four or five shots through a sandbag will kill you if you you're sitting behind it with a 50 cal. Up, Small arms will not penetrate. Uh, get the Humvee ready to start firing on radio tower. But still out of sight. Sounds like the insurgents might have spotted the you northern squad. Push out west and try and get in behind them. Or let's let them go a little bit longer. They probably got spotted out by. It looks like the insurgents have a scout buddy pair up on the, the first ready to move. north hill. I've got eyes on those elements. Command, checking it out. Yeah, he so should be able to see him. Yeah, he's, he's probably got eyes on that. It's hard to miss. Mm, sounds like he thinks they might be building a fob over there. So it'll be this will be a rude surprise. Suddenly when a pair of 50s tear into them from the back. This might be one of the best flanks I have uh, ever seen work out, although it hasn't worked out yet. Let's not, uh, not get ahead of ourselves. Here's that scout fire team that probably spotted them out up there in those hills. Okay, three, what's the status of that lodgy? Guys, working with that barbed wire, you need those uh, heavy duty gloves for the barbed wire work. That and, or a medic nearby. So the insurgents are kind of spread pretty thin here. They've pushed out guys pretty far to the west. They got two full squads out to the west, three and four. Commando Another fire team down to the southwest. The Who's left back up top? Is it just one squad here. up here? Maybe a squad and a half. One, two, Emily, three, four, back. five, yeah, six, back, seven. Like yeah, it's a squad and a half yeah. up here. Uh, ETA is really about so they will definitely get overrun very quickly. And then Give it one more free it's run. the insurgents uh, counter pushing back onto the hill. The except they won't have any support. Three, you'll have one HMG. U.S. scoping out those sandbags. Set the other one up, right, right, and and seeing what he's uh, looking into here. Let it, let it come back to main. One, one more time, and then the second time, you're gonna blow it up. Yeah, you can hear him okay. talking about uh, how they want to execute this logic truck. Personally, I think they should let it go and get their infantry in a lot closer before they execute that, because they blow that thing up. Obviously. Insurgents are going to know they're coming I've from the east. Multiple people on the radio tower with binocs looking in your direction. You're probably spotted. Let the squad one know they got spotted. Copy that. Creeping is on point here with his command. Creeping, you want me 
send my three guys to you. It's like squad three yeah, here man the gun for the insurgents is circling around behind squad one as squad one is circling around behind the radio tower. So that flank might go really well for them. But if they can link up with the main force, then basically we'll just have flipped sides. I feel like the U.S. is uh, surprise. The opportunity for surprise is closing. If they don't spring this trap soon, I think they're going to lose it. Hey, what's uh, what's going on, Alpha? Can you cross or move west or what? It's there's a road. It's just they'll see us. Okay, hold there. Is there good hat concealment or cover? Across the road. Heaven SMA. All right, then scouting it out up here. All right, I'm going first. Have we uh, actually Security. seen Holding the position. tech yet, or just heard it? All right, North Sunny, you're next. Sounds like we're ready to go on that lodger this time around. On a mystery, what's doing? Right, I just want to know if we. Yep, next that time gorgeous around, sunset. Humvee, get in position where you can fire. Just heard the Humvee. Humvee was told to get in a position where it can fire. At this point, the insurgents should know that the U.S. could be literally anywhere. So, in okay, the beginning, well, yeah, they're only going to be looking northwest, maybe a little southwest. But at this point, they're looking 360, or at least they should be. Yeah, just bring bring the lodgy back. We'll just leave it. Um, or just not. It's good you get birds. They're in the U.S. saying they're building the HMGs. Start heading towards all of that. This vector is lost. They can see us the entire way. Shadow's just start still heading. focused on the don't, north. Don't shoot, but I'm gonna guide you. Looks in. like Muff Squad is actually heading start back aiming. down to the southeast. Start, uh, hold, hold fire, aim at a zero zero. And start building this 50 here. Get prone right on me. Get prone right on me. On my location, where I'm at my, right now, there's an HMG there. ready to be built. Start building it. The and oh, the I got this. Get ready. Whoever's got a dash B, tell him not to stand up. Zero zero six, left side. Of, you see the tan building? The left side of that. One's getting really right close up there to the north. They will probably. Um. If they decide to go over this hill, skill says he's got a good spot for radio tower for the HMG. Three's coming all the way around behind them. They're in good spots. They're gonna have. Once HMGs are up, we begin assault. Long range, but oh, they're gonna have great uh, opportunity to fire on them Four roughly in the open. Manning the HMGs. Everybody else assault. One, take your time. Now they're wisely falling back across the street. They're not going up, up and over that hill where this team would have gorgeous firing position. I think they're guiding the dish on Hamlet right now. One's on it, and there's a squad leader right by it with his right. One heads up. Get ready for fire. Copy. Yeah, that was some great premonition on uh, who's was that Ham? Leading uh, squad one, yeah. Well That'd be tough to just to not line up on this hill right here, and get ready to get a firing position on the main outpost. But they uh, pulled back off to the right, stay in cover more, because they have no that they, they must have no clue that this squad is coming around behind them. Right? They got three and four behind them. Here we go. You just tell Sounds like the assault on the main base is about to start. Is about to happen here. Here we go. Shots are out. A pair of fifties, three fifties opening up here. Yes, they are. Down that hill we talked about. I. Uh... 
At the uh, Logi trucks. Down. Wish we could hear command comms for uh this fifty cows okay, doesn't even see what's happening. Yeah, I don't want you to get I don't want you You gotta respond to that. Who is this? Miyamoto. There we go, now he's turning. Almost like he was AFK for a second there. And then get up, get off. Looking for targets? Alright, he's finally returning fire. This fire doing a great job. So one nice little trick you can do is build a second layer of sandbags and that will completely protect you from 55. Here comes one. Wow. This is We're brilliant. This could either go really well or really really horribly if that squad behind them figures out what's going on catches these guys moving up I mean they don't know exactly where they are and I only see three of them over there oh the rest are spread out more to the east here we go they're pushing up the hill right here Ooh, squad lead is wow who is this Hamlet within grenade range of a fire team walks past him. No, they have no clue. My guys get to the uh, northwest of Silas, where'd you go? From up here. Experts moving up on the other side. Insurgents are... Everyone's down, I've asked Bob. You want me Moving through the, the uh, oh, getting his grenade out. Smoke grenade. Wow, wow. Hamley, you don't know how lucky you just got. Oh, that grenade grows off. Hits you in the ass. I could use empty fire. 2 or 3s making short work of that defense up there. This is where it starts to get crazy. Trying to dig through that barbed wire, make a hole. He's in on the wall. There is just one. It picks one off that 50, takes another one. Shadow, we got a command here. Oh! Squad leader down, squad leader down. Get your nades out, your nades out. So we got... <laughs> we got two, a sandwich here. Directly two or three, five meters. Squad coming in from the northeast is being flanked by two squads for the insurgents. That's reinforcements coming in to this... Radio position up here. This is, this is going to be utter chaos. At this point, all the plans are in place. Oh, I love those sandbags exploding, going everywhere. U.S. smoking it up, moving in from all sides. Oh, look at those sandbags! This, this poor bastard's trying to re rebuild the sandbags desperately in his little little alcove there. U.S. are inside the bunker. Shadow goes down. Roger. Cover that you gotta clear that red us. crate. Friendly's in here. We're on top of it. Hey, somebody's in the port of shitter. So there aren't too many left. Oof. They've built a nice little 
kill base in here. Lob some grenades over that thing. This is spacing here. <laughs> Look at those sandbags. Both teams need to exercise some. Uh... I'll heal you up. You want me to Meanwhile, in the northwest, the insurgents coming up in force here. Yep, here they come. West side, U.S. are gonna get hit in the ass. They're gonna get another clue. Wow. The insurgents are doing a good job holding them here. In the base, I mean, they have overwhelming numbers against... I'm not sure why all the sandbags just disappeared. That was interesting. All right, so the U.S. have control of it. They're going to think they got time to breathe and recoup, but they got this full squad coming up on their west. Another one coming up on the north. Frag it, frag it, guys, frag it. We got a muff. Battlefield correspondent here. Probably a little bit too big. <laughs> Love the sandbag. Woof. RPG flies right overhead. Hit bad, hit bad. Mike, Mike. All right, I'm taking over for squad three. Should we see if we can reestablish comms with our battlefield correspondent here? As he goes into the heart of combat, <laughs> it might be a little, little much. He might be a little busy here. Oh, 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 oh! Just Shit. misses. Reloading his trusty AK. I heard his grandfather gave him that. So there aren't too many U.S. left in this thing. Squad leads down. Sees one on the right. Not a headshot, but two in the two in the in the ass. Do it. Squad two, is there still contact over by you? They're all over me. He's got contact. You found you me me the They're on the wall. Wow. So yeah, this is this is a total a total mess. The forces are completely mixed all over the place. There are no lines. <laughs> there are no forces. There's just they're just killing everywhere. It's great. It's fantastic. Fifty cal eats someone up here. That was Muff. Well, this is fifty cal. No, he's about to be flanked up here. These two guys moving up on the fifty. They're gonna get above him and just murder him from above. Takes out that uh, artillery truck. So who do we got left up here? Two U.S. Two U.S. alive in radio tower proper versus one, two, really one on their position. Goodbye, Gunner. Humvee just got taken out. XF. Good job executing that. This guy, this medic just heard a shot. It's going over to investigate. Oof. Gets executed. Two, let me know if you're in trouble up there. Oh, um, yeah, we are in the Arbo Samu, the last one alive in here, hiding in this, uh... This is a flip! Normally, it's the last insurgent that's hiding in this thing. He's got the right weapon for it, though. That 249. <laughs> oh, he's not wrong. So he's got one, two, three, four guys around him. His backup's coming slowly, though. Um, Han Solo just took shots from Sal, so watch out for that. Let's 
surgeons trying to suss it out. Who's left up here? These skeletons of sandbags left. Uh, my guys aren't lone wolfing 66 and severe together. Uh, 66 just doesn't know his name is 66. God. Ooh. Uh, contacts right here. I need help as soon as possible. <laughs> that guy's freaking out in there. <laughs> oh! He's got an angel on his shoulders there. Reloading that, that, uh, that saw. He's going to be able to hold out. Unless they can get a grenade in there, that's going to be tough to take out. Especially with people covering him. Here's that grenade. Maybe? Yeah, it's a grenade. He can bank it in the door. Oh, he's peeking. Oh! Sees him, wounds him. Grenade, short. Way short. Now he's got backup. Copy, um, they're pushing up southwest, west. Just trying to spam in there a little bit, freak him out. I'm getting... Oh wow, he got hit. Using his second bandage, I believe. Wow, meanwhile, didn't see these guys over here. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Five total? Yeah, five total. That's a fob over there. Five US. Two there. Three, four, five on five right now. US are consolidated. Here comes that grenade. It's short. Keep everyone in the picture here. He takes one in the side down here. Who is that? Dorf. Executed while bandaging. And this guy's got an SKS. I don't know, that's a G15. Oh, somehow the container guy got G15. Squad number two is down. Well, wow, Zabari, right come on. That should have been a kill, buddy. He's running, he's running. Oh, I don't think anyone can hear you. Zabari. Zabari. Zabari is dead. Zabari is dead. Zabari is dead. He is dead. Who's? Mm. I'm alive. What the fuck? Now he's dead. What? There you go. Line it up. Executed. I don't know. I don't know. Trying to get cheeky here. <laughs> there he goes. Too bad there's no shovel melee kills in the game yet. That could have been, could have been a good one, especially if there's stealth. No one can hear it. So let's see. For US, we got two inside. I don't know how this guy over here died. Let me see that one. Is it just two? Versus three. Ah, yeah, so two U.S. In the, uh, the field, the bushes. Three militia. Militia are in great position here. Guy on the, uh, what? West side, totally unknown. Both the U.S. are looking the other way. Surprised he can't see him. Oh, wow. Nice drop shot. I'm up. Copy. I got the saw retreated. Behind the uh, destroyed lobby. Yeah, a tunnel vision. Yep, I think that is game. Wow, quick GG call by Burns. Wow, that was action packed.
crazy flanking, counter maneuvering. Yeah, that was a good one. All right, that was round one, whirlwind of second round coming up here in a couple minutes. We'll take a quick break here and get right back to the action. Squad off that GG. <laughs> 